So let's take a look at one of the common algebra story problems, variation. Each of these is going to have three, maybe four steps, and they always work the same. So whenever you come across these in an algebra class, you should say, yay, they're always the same. There's not a lot of deep thinking. So here are the steps we're going to follow. First, we have to choose the correct base model, and that will depend on some keywords, and I'll show you what those are. The next thing we do is we use all of the information that's given to find k. Again, you'll know about k here in just a second. k is called the constant of variation. Third step, we are going to write a new and improved model. That just essentially means our base model with the value for k plugged in. And lastly, we're going to go reread the question and see if we need to use our model again. So here are some of the keywords that we're be looking for. Okay, so our base models. In words and right there might have y replaced with um, taxes, uh, varies directly as income. But for us, y varies directly as x. So when you see this phrase, this is the clue for this base model. y equals k times x. Okay. Other words you might see in there y varies directly, um, is directly, and I'm going to put that in quotes because sometimes they'll leave that off and it'll be implied, proportional. To x. Okay, either of these phrases will translate to this base model. One thing to notice on this with y varies directly as x, as x gets bigger, y gets bigger. Okay. And that's in contrast to the next one, y varies inversely as x. Okay. Or is y is inversely, this one you can't leave it off, proportional to x. So this base model looks like this, y equals k over x. So notice in this relationship, as x gets bigger, y gets smaller, right? If I divide a fraction, if the denominator gets bigger, the result is a smaller number. And then the last type we have is jointly. y varies jointly as x and w. There's really no other way we can say that, so I won't even write it. So this looks like y equals k times x times w. They both go on the same line as a directly proportional. Okay, well, what's going to happen is we'll have these all together. So here's, let's see if we can handle this. y varies jointly as x and the square root of w and inversely as the cube of z. Can we just write down the base model? So y varies, we start y equals, y equals k. So all of our variation um, problems start like this. Now we just have to figure out where all the other letters go. Jointly as x and the square root of w. So jointly up on the same line as k. Uh, jointly as x and the square root of w. So square root of w. And inversely as the cube of z. So sometimes your base models can get quite cumbersome. I haven't we've only practiced step one so far, choosing the base model. So we have three, essentially three models to choose from, and then we can do these in combination. So let's go ahead and do three examples with using these base models and, and doing steps two, three, and four. Okay, so first step, y varies directly as x. When y is 12, x is 50. Find y when x is 20. Okay, so first sentence gives us our base model. So we go ahead and write it with just the y, x, and k. y varies directly as x. Base model. Next step was finding the value of k. So using the information we have, y is 12 when x is 50, right, that will let us find k. 
So let's see, we plug those values in, 12 in for y. K stays the same, that's what I want when x is 50. And we solve that for k, so divide everybody by 50. So 12 over 50, okay, however you might write that. I'm gonna do a quick little, how about if I do, oh, maybe I'll just leave it like that. I'll just leave it as that fraction, because I might want that later. So my new and improved model, y equals 12 fiftieths times x. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are screaming so loudly. Fine, I will reduce it. Okay, y equals, what am I gonna take out? Um, a two? Uh, six twenty-fifths, okay. Six over 25 times x, better? Okay, so now here's my new and improved reduced model. And now we're gonna read that last sentence. Find y when x is 20. So now here's my new and improved model. I'm just gonna take that 20 and plug it in for x and figure out what happens to y. So notice x was 50 and it's going down to 20. So it's getting smaller. We'll expect y to get smaller too because they're supposed to go in conjunction when they're directly proportional. So 20 in for the x and then we can simplify that. Let's see, take out the fives. So 24 fifths, okay. smaller than 12. Okay. So let's do another one. Y varies jointly as the square of X and the square root of W. Stop, translate, get your base model. Y varies jointly, Y equals K, times the square of x, x squared, and the square root of w. So it still stays on the same line because it's jointly. Now the next phrase, almost all algebra books put them in this exact same form. As I said at the beginning, not a ton of critical thinking going on here. If y equals 15 when x is 3 and w equals 49, okay, when you get to the comma, pause, Go find k. 15 equals k times x is 3, so I've got 3 squared, and w is 49. Stop and find k. So we plug everything in, and then we solve for k. So here we go. 15 equals k times 9 times 7. Um, k equals 15 over... Is that 63? Yeah. So if we reduce that, what is that, a 3 that can come out? 5, 3, 21. Okay, new and improved model, here we go. y equals 5 over 21 times x squared times the square root of w. Okay? And now we're going to read that last sentence. Find y if x doubles and w stays the same. Okay, so we'll leave the w as a 49, and x is gonna double. So it used to be three, so I'll plug in a six. So if you wanna make that note, so w is gonna stay the same at 49, and x is going to double. Okay. So now I'm using, here's my new and improved model. We're gonna use it with our new information. So y equals k stays the same, 5 over 21, x is now 6 squared, and then I still have my square root of 49. Okay. Do you have an idea of what's going to happen to y? It's going to get bigger, smaller, or it used to be 15. Hmm, I have to see. 5 over 21 times 36 times 7. Oh, I think I can reduce that, right? Let's see, um, 7 into 3, and now the 3 into the 36, 12, uh, 60. Oh, it went up by a lot, by a factor of 4, in fact. Interesting. Okay, last example, and I don't have very much room. Do you think we can fit it right there? Okay, we're going to scrunch. You ready? Y varies directly as X and inversely as Z. Base model. Y equals K x over z, okay? 
Next sentence gives us everything to find k. Let's switch it down here. y is 25 when, so remember to keep your k, x is 4 and z is 40. Solve for k. I'm going to wave my hands at it. 10 k is 250. Okay. New and improved model. Put that up here. Y equals 250x over z. And now that last sentence. Find y. Y equals k, we know, 250 uh, times x. x is 6. And divided by z, which is 20. And we'll do that math. Looks like y is 75.